today i will be discussing on the writing reflexes these writing reflexes are the reflexes that orient our head neck and body in space i have a, a picture here this is a, a rio olympic uh, picture and um which uh, happened in brazil in 2016 and uh, this is a uh, manuel uh, sterlek with a handball you just see that uh, the positioning of him his head position his neck position and his uh, limbo positions okay leave aside that uh, person there are other two opponents they are also trying to grab the ball or trying to look at the ball see how their positioning this this one you can just see the limb and uh, these limb and uh, the eye and the the entire body stance so these are in fact the part of the writing reflexes okay with brief note on this we move on uh, before i go to the writing reflex i come back and i will again uh, recap regarding the posture what is posture which i defined in my earlier class it is defined as the attitude assumed by the body either with the support during the course of muscular activity or as a result of coordinated action performed by group of muscles working to maintain the stability a uh, precisely this is more complicated the definition and uh, we come back here very simplified version of that posture is essentially a relative position of the body or its parts with one another using egocentric that is a uh, parts with each other exocentric that is uh, the or ecocentric that is the environmental and then geocentric that is with the gravitational coordinates it is essentially a relative position of the body or its parts with one another using egocentric exocentric and geocentric coordinates either in motion or at rest in motion is dynamic state rest is a static state that's exactly is the posture we discussed in the last class the four levels of control for the posture one control at the segmental level two at the medullary level three at the midbrain level and fourth at the cortical level in the segmental level i mentioned about or i discussed about the stretch reflex it is uh, mainly for the maintenance of the tone the cross extensor reflex providing a pillar like structure or a base when disturbed and a positive supporting reaction what is called a magnet reaction and a negative support reaction what is called a lengthening reaction then we have a, at the medullary level we have a tonic neck reflexes and tonic labyrinthine reflexes which i have uh, uh, described again tonic neck reflexes for side movements and the uh, upward movement or uh, the downward movements a so dorsiflexion and ventriflexion the tonic labyrinthine movements are again in the same direction that means the when the labyrinth is activated when it is head is moved up or down now in the midbrain level i mentioned about writing reflexes which i went very quickly in in my last class these writing reflexes are labyrinthine writing reflexes the neck writing reflexes body writing reflexes and uh, the limb writing reflexes i will place the limb and the body together and the optical or visual writing reflexes okay then at a cortical level we have uh, the number of reactions which place ourselves or which make us to land on a particular location these are placing reactions and uh, uh, 
a hopping reaction so when you are been you have been pushed by the side so these are the uh, the four uh, different levels of the uh, cortical uh, or the different levels of the posture uh, control now this is what the entire table i i discussed about this table uh, in the in the first part today i would be focusing on this uh, the box with a red mark red border that is uh, the writing reflex i would be focusing on these are uh, a part of the postural reflexes uh, i as i have already mentioned they are labyrinthine neck writing reflexes body writing reflexes body on body body on head and optic writing reflexes okay before then we move on look here just a picture in which the cat is falling free falling it is dropped from a height what's happening we just see here this is where it is dropped and slowly the head was turned head was turned so then neck because head was turned the neck was also moved and along with the body so then comes the body is now perfectly positioned for landing you just see that it is for landing on to the ground so now this is one example of uh, uh, the writing reflexes how uh, you are dropped from a height so this is how entire even a human being also uh, tries to shift himself and see that he comes down to the um, ground uh, with the legs down legs down head up and the body in relation to head okay so that is the exact landing so now i have one more picture here is another thing he is an acrobat he is trying to uh, put the the other limb up and see how he is trying to adjust the uh, the positioning in this uh, there are two components one component is the positioning of the head the second component is the positioning of the uh, the trunk and the limbs limbs see both the limbs here and the, both the limbs here and see if you are looking at the positioning of the head it is perfect perpendicular to this ground and the even eyeball movements are uh, parallel the uh, ground level so this is one of those uh, uh, pictures where he is writing he is not falling down so now here you just see this person uh, the where he is trying to uh, play uh, skate so in that um, they he has the he has to maintain the center of gravity he has a center of gravity here and this is the limb movement and you see how he is oriented to hit the particular uh, ball or whatever so now you can just see that how he is positioned so this these this positioning itself uh, in space is a writing reflex now you have uh, this little girl Uh, trying to do the acrobats and you can just see that uh, the limb movement it is perfectly in alignment it's perfectly in alignment head you see it's aligned and the limbs are also uh, as per this thing this is a voluntary movement but it is not a dislocation um, in case of uh, uh, previous one it is uh, because of the motion while in action here it is voluntarily this girl tries to put the leg up and then trying to maintain that posture same thing here you can just see that the straight and the eyeballs facing a parallel and the the uh, perpendicular head now you just see this this is what the the picture in the title page i had faced so this is a rio olympics picture you see that perfectly his head is focused in it it's parallel as you just said parallel here and it is perpendicular to the ground and the limbs there is a tilting of the head and the limbs are trying to position and same thing happening with these uh, two persons the number 13 and the number 2 so they are also trying to position now Uh, looking uh, giving a, a brief um, glance at, uh, at those pictures let me say the what are writing reflexes 
Writing reflexes are a series of synchronized reflexes that integrate the position and alignment of head, neck and trunk in space. When challenged or when altered, so as to provide optimal positioning to perform other actions. If you are going back here, it is a positioning of the head, trunk and the limbs in alignment so that he wants to throw this ball. That is the purpose of him. And during that time, his whole body posture is challenged because he has to supersede with his opponents. So now, the various reflexes that tend to bring body into normal position in space and resist forces acting to displace it out of normal position. So now, because there is a change in the posture, the various reflexes operate, and these reflexes are the writing reflexes. Again, the same picture I have uh, posted here with a cat, cats falling. Now, again, let us continue with the definition of the writing reflex. It is a continuous, unconscious adaptation of the head, neck, and body. I have put limbs together to, to changing situations to maintain the balance and alignment of parts either in motion or at rest when challenged. It's a continuous unconscious adaptation. If you see, see that uh, Olympics uh, pictures, you can understand that. The writing reflex is a fundamental reflex. And even, uh, say for example, I'm sitting on the chair, something happens suddenly to my chair and I slip off and I will try to maintain my posture. That is what the writing reflex is. Okay, so these writing reflexes are fundamental reflexes. They are present immediately after birth, immediately after birth, especially the visual writing reflex. And it is due to the change in the change in the environment, the in utero to the uh, outside, outside the the child is exposed. Then entire writing reflexes, the entire writing reflexes are established by 10 to 12 months uh, during growth. Say for example, a newborn baby where it cannot hold its head or in, in reference to the body, the neck is only an interface or connecting, the connecting thing between these things, it does not have a strength. So that means head, neck, and the body are totally independent. Only the child tries to look at the light, that is the visual, visual aspect that was, that is going to have. They are established by 10 to 12 months and remain active throughout the life. Thus provide integrated movement between the head, trunk, and the body, and the gravity. The centers for these reflexes are located in the midbrain around the red nucleus, controlled by visual, gravitational, proprioceptive inputs. This is what the, the brief, brief about when they start appearing and what are the centers. I mentioned that the writing reflexes have a centers in the midbrain, excepting visual writing reflex where it has, it requires the visual cortex that is in the cerebral cortex. The visual, gravitational, and proprioceptive inputs govern the writing reflexes. Now, what are the characteristics? They are part of the unconscious positioning of the head and body. That means unconscious. Then they keep head, that is brain, that is within, eyes and body in relative balance with each other. So that means uh, when you are uh, trying to turn that side, if uh, your eyes do not turn that side, you can just imagine what may be the situation. So that means uh, the eyes should move along with the head and they, along with the body. So that is the, they try to maintain a relative balance of each of these uh, structures, the head, eyes, body. Involves the communication between a vestibular, because this is where 
the neural elements are coming up it is communication it is a, it is a communication between the vestibular the proprioceptive from the body visual and interoceptive that is from the brain so these senses these are the characteristics of the writing reflex now so those four way of conversation i have mentioned about four ways of con conversation here in the last paragraph the vestibular proprioceptive visual and interoceptive i have just summarized them here the four way of conversation that takes place so as to maintain the writing reflex so what are those four ways these four ways are vestibular they are located in the inner ear in the temporal bone and the, the proprioceptors these are the proprioceptors of the uh, somatic muscles and joints of the entire body greatly from the cervical region especially the neck region the visual the eyes eyes gives the cues then interoceptor sensations they arise from the or they are given by the uh, somatosensory area association area of the brain broadman area 5 and 7 so these are interoceptors we we have a little information or we do, we do not know much about these interoceptor sensations but we know the large amount of information on these vestibular proprioceptor and visual uh, inputs so writing reflexes underlie the movement transitions from one to other say for example lying to upright or turning even in the bed in relation to the gravity and the space for a, a newborn or infant infant will lie down in the same same position all through uh, but it will not turn only it starts turning around maybe by the end of the uh, second second month or so so that means that a turning is also an important movement that a transition is brought about by the writing reflexes because it is the body they are required for head lifting that means over the trunk rolling sitting crawling creeping standing walking running etc these writing reflexes are required for all these actions i i have just mentioned there are many more actions you can just uh, uh, even you can think about uh, dancing playing and uh, whatever you think about whatever you can think about you can you can bring it up so during this time there should be a maintenance of the postural alignment and the tone these are automatic reactions to a rapid loss of balance i alteration i will say that uh, rapid alteration in the the um, activity so thus the entire weight shifting that is the equilibrium is brought about writing reflexes involve two components as i was trying to mention about one bringing the head into upright or vertical orientation in space in relation to gravity second bringing the head and the trunk into mutual alignment head and trunk together one the head again head only then head and trunk together so these are the two important components say for example here the girl is standing there i have taken the same picture the head is tilted to the leg on this side see see there there there's a tilting of the head to this side but you see the leveling of the eyes eyes are leveled the head is perpendicular if if i am drawing a perpendicular line a perpendicular to the ground leveling of the eyes perpendicular to the ground even these individual eyes are perpendicular but each of these eyes will be parallel so that means they are in the same alignment now these these things are brought about by the visual so say for example this thing visual input and uh, the the uh, vestibular input the vestibular is the vestibular input in the uh, inner ear uh, component 
if this ground level is not good the posture uh, level is not uniform the body will assume a posture that provides a, a, a good balance or a greatest amount of body balance now here is one situation and uh, we want to study or uh, we want to see what are the various uh, sequence of events uh, happen during uh, writing when tilted here is a man who is tilted so tilting so the initial part of the tilting has changed changed the uh, the vestibular autolith organs that uh, level up the because of the gravity because he has shifted this side these are the autolith organs they are tilted to this side and once they are tilted to this side the very then the next part is to bring this thing to back that is number 2 so that means this tilting has to be brought so that is leveling so this is a tilt here this is leveling so then this is operated by uh, reflexes so that is a vestibular reflexes uh, vestibular ocular reflexes or vestibular uh, vestibular reflexes for positioning of the body so these are uh, writing reflex and these are uh, reflex processing in the brain number 4 is because because of the tilt see see for example this one he has shifted there is a neck movement or a neck muscles are activated or the proprioceptors of the uh, neck muscles and joints are activated and these proprioceptors of the neck muscles and joints they try to bring the body along with so that means uh, the body along with and once they try to bring the body along with the head is positioned see this is horizontal positioning of the head the head here the head perpendicular to the ground you just see that it is perpendicular to the ground the head then uh, um, eyes level horizontal so eyes become horizontal like this okay so now then we have a third point the body leans left the body lean left so we have a two different axes the top one the head one is having one level and the body is having one level you can just see that this is the level of the body this t t is the level of the body and the head is uh, this this one so these two axes uh, it has so these are the various sequence of events so uh, leaning the vestibular thing leans to the left then uh, activates the vestibular then it is tilted back then through the reflexes it is brought back to the position by the reflexes then it will be the neck is altered the neck will bring back and uh, by the neck uh, again the body is also coming these are the things or events happening uh, uh, during writing reflexes just to summarize at this point uh, the writing reflex is correct the position of the body when it goes off balance here it is the off balance number 1 writing reflexes are series of reactions following one another in an orderly sequence so that means you just see that this is the position and one thing is activated number 2 position number 3 position number 4 position so that means it's an orderly for example if an animal is laid on its back head head rights itself followed by the body first the head followed by the body and the animal finally resumes a upright posture you just see that animal has assumed the upright posture and it is almost ready to land or ready to run whatever now what are the various types of writing reflexes which i was uh, trying to mention the types of writing reflexes are labyrinthine writing reflexes the neck writing reflexes body writing reflexes limb writing reflexes optic writing reflexes now the same thing here i have brought the the various uh, the nervous elements associated with each one of them the labyrinthine is a vestibular writing reflex it's also called a vestibular writing reflex it is the autolith organs they will come to this uh, dieter's nucleus dieter's nucleus 
this is also receive input from the vestigial nucleus of the cerebellum and uh, that that would be uh, giving to the uh, the spinal cord alpha motor neuron the vestibular spinal tract now then this is about the labyrinthine writing reflex but it also gives input input to the the red nucleus maybe via the cerebellum or directly from the diatus nucleus it enters into the reticular system that this is red nucleus then neck writing reflexes originated from the originate from the proprioceptors of the neck here they try to influence the alpha motor neurons of the spinal cord at the same time they give collaterals to the red nucleus you can just see that this is giving red nucleus this is giving red nucleus dotted line inputs the body writing reflexes and the limb writing reflexes the body and the limb writing reflexes uh, provides input uh, input to the red nucleus so they will send that along with that they will send it to the to the alpha motor neurons the optic writing reflexes arise from the eye or visual these things and they will go to the cerebrum the motor cortex this is pyramidal tract this is pyramidal tract or corticospinal tract so now this would go to the the, the cerebral motor cortex and at the same time through the colliculus through the colliculus they communicate to the red red nucleus and uh, so all these things there may there are other things that is telomo uh, rubral connections telomo rubral connections uh, cortico rubral connections and uh, the ponto rubral connections and um, we have uh, the other uh, reticular reticular system which have a connection to the uh, red nucleus this is all about the various connections we examine each one of them uh, one by one this is labyrinthine reticular reflex what is the stimulus for the labyrinthine reticular reflex it is gravity okay it's gravity this is a vestibular writing reflex then what is the receptor for uh, the labyrinthine writing reflex it is autolith organ the secule and the utricle and uh, the they are supplied by the vestibular nerve eighth cranial nerve vestibular cochlear nerve vestibular part of the vestibular cochlear nerve so now this is uh, what these uh, autolith organs are these are the autolith organs so this is a part of the vestibular system this is a vestibular system this is a cochlear system the vestibular system composes of uh, three uh, semicircular canals and the two autolith organs two autolith organs these autolith organs uh, are necessary for the the gravity linear and uh, the vertical accelerations okay so this is where the utricle and secule are there and if you are looking at the utricle and secule this is a normal utricle and secule it is a head upright the, the you can just see this position head upright so this uh, um, head upright these are the autoconia so autoliths these are called autoliths these are the crystals of the uh, calcium and these crystals are situated on this uh, the the mucus or the gel here and they will exert a pressure okay they will be constantly uh, having an input this is the kinocilia or the big or the big one of the cilium of the hair cells these are the hair cells okay so now what happens when it is tilted when it is tilted so these uh, kinocilia see this is a tilting this is exactly happens inside your temporal cortex this is tilting and these um, crystals calcium stones or calcium crystals exert attraction on these kinocilia when they exert attraction on the kinocilium that would produce the activity on the vestibular system and uh, through the vestibular nerve it will go to the uh, the vestibular nuclei and the vestibular nuclei uh, communicates to the spinal cord to the cerebellum uh, to the colliculus so that uh, the entire thing is set back
So this is the uh, force of gravity, entire thing setbacks. This is in brief about uh, the vestibular system, because uh, when I said about this, uh, what are the receptors? The receptors are the hair cells of the autolite organs, and it is the uh, calcium crystals that makes the, uh, the difference. Then what is, again, I come back here, the vestibular writing reflexes or the labyrinthine writing reflexes, the stimulus is gravity, as, as you saw here, it is the gravity here that, that puts the traction. Then receptor is autolith organs, the secule and utricle, and the vestibular nerve, up, that is the vestib vestibular part of the vestibulocochlear nerve. The center is integrated in the red nucleus, and it receives inputs from the ditus nucleus. Ditus nucleus is here, this is the vestibular nucleus. This also receives the vestigial component, the vestigial part from the cerebellum. Again, there is a connection here. That connection is not shown. The efferents, efferents come from the rubrospinal tract to the alpha motor neurons here, the reticulospinal tract through the gamma motor neurons, gamma motor neurons. Then vestibulospinal tract. This is the vestibulospinal tract. So that the that is through the to the alpha motor neuron. Here in this circuit, uh, a gamma circuit is not shown. Gamma motor neurons are not shown, but there is a gamma motor neuron interaction also. This is about the labyrinthine writing reflex and uh, uh, the neural component, the stimulus is gravity, the receptor is autolith organs, vestibular nerve, midbrain is the center, rubrospinal, reticulospinal, vestibulospinal tract, and uh, re response is to reverse the tilt or a change. So now you just see that uh, here is the uh, situation, labyrinthine writing reflex. This cat is being there and the vestibular system is being tilted. It is initiated when the head is uh, lateral position. So now the impulse is arising from secules, reflexly stimulate and appropriate the muscle to bring the head back to the upright posture. You just see that number two. Now here, what is what is the situation? The the cat is seeing also seeing the environment. So that means you cannot exclude the visual visual impact or visually mediated reflexes. So now it is both because of the visual as well as the vestibular uh, uh, reflexes. Here, in this particular event, you can just see that uh, this boy has been tilted. When he is tilted, uh, what happens? Uh, because he's he's placed here like that, and he his head head tilts like this. It is because of the visual visual reflex, optic writing reflex. Now, when he is bl um, blindfolded, because the visual inputs are not going during that time, also the neck tilts or head tilts. So they, because of the gravitational uh, uh, pull of these uh, the secules or the vestibular system. So now it also tilts and this tilting is brought about by the, the vestibular system. This is called a, a labyrinthine writing reflex. So now I will uh, talk about this body in, uh, when I talk about body writing reflexes. Now neck writing reflexes. So neck writing reflexes, uh, the stimulus is in the neck, in the neck, that's a neck movement. And uh, the, uh, the receptors are proprioceptors of the muscle, uh, muscles of the neck and the joints, neck and joint, neck joints. So now these are proprioceptors and they are through the uh, cervical segments and the uh, 11th cranial nerve, the, the afferents reach there. The center is not the segmental level. They will they will reach reach to the uh, red nucleus. They will reach the red nucleus in the midbrain. They are not integrated in the spinal cord. They are integrated in the red red nucleus or in the midbrain. So that means around this area, collicular, tegmental, or red nucleus area. Again, efferents are same: rubrospinal, uh, vestibulospinal reticulospinal pathways. Response is to reverse whatever the neck movement to reverse back, to put it straight. 
Then you can just see the example of the neck writing reflex. What happened here? It has a, it has a tilted. This neck is tilted here. And once the neck is tilted, because head is righted by number two, number two here, uh, reflexes, but body still remains lateral position. Body is still in the uh, different position. This leads to twisting of neck, and this brings the thorax, and uh, that is a trunk region, successively into upright posture. So that means uh, this neck have a traction. The writing of the head is prevented. Impulses from the body surface may cause the writing of the body directly. So that means uh, this head, neck, head will become straight and the neck writing reflexes operate. The head becomes uh, straight. So this is, uh, and now this, this is second part. And now the second part turns into uh, third part. So the head becomes uh, straight and uh, focused. And that is the second part. That means uh, it keeps in the, but still, even if you are looking at that, the uh, body is not uh, arranged yet. The first is uh, the vestibular reflexes, they make the head in this position, and the neck reflexes, they make the head in this position, and so on. Now, here uh, in this uh, baby, uh, the neck writing reflexes are elicited. When the neck is moved, and he will try to, he will try to, make make the whatever the uh, positioning of the body now body writing reflexes body writing reflexes are also having a similar uh, pattern of the neck writing reflexes uh, what is the stimulus it is the body movement so neck is there you are turning the body or turning the limbs then uh, the receptors are the proprioceptors of those particular part of the body they are activated the proprioceptors of the muscles and joints, the skin, muscle, and joints, they are activated. And uh, these proprioefferents involve spinal cord, cerebellum, and tegmentum. They reach that. The center is, again, a red nucleus in the midbrain, midbrain, er around the red nuclear area, the collicular and tegmental. Involve rubrospinal, reticulospinal, vestibulospinal tract. Responses reverse the change. Maybe let us see what is happening. So this this part you can just concentrate on this part because this is already the neck and the head are in a space. They are in a space, but uh, the body is not in space. Now this body will align. The next step, if you see, the body will align and becomes this stage, number four. This is the alignment here in the, the body writing reflex. So now, here in this boy, if you, he's blindfolded, body on head. So now, what is happening? He's blindfolded. So the neck writing reflex have operated. He has made the, this thing. But some of the body reflexes, the proprioceptors here, they are activated. They are orienting. They are positioning the the neck, head, neck, and the body in in particular uh, location. One one thing about uh, body writing reflexes, uh, if it is because of the asymmetrical activation. Asymmetrical activation of the proprioceptors. Asymmetrical activation of the uh, because uh, if you if you are looking at that, there are no activation here. In this case, uh, there is a, a stimulus here. Uh, these proprioceptors are activated here, and on this side, it is not activated. This asymmetrical activation of pro proprioceptors that brings about the action. The experiments were performed when they have placed the uh, same type of a board on this side also. So then these reflexes would not operate. So that means when you bring the symmetry of activation of the uh, proprioceptors. The when animal lies on the ground, uh, the side in contact with the ground, the side in contact with the ground constantly stimulated, while the other side is not. Other side is not. Okay, this differential stimulation of the deep structures, the differential stimulation of the proprioceptors in the body reflexly writes the head, 
or puts the head in a straight position. Now, the limb writing reflexes, they are also similar to the body writing reflexes. They are brought about by the limb movements and uh, these limb movements, again, the proprioceptors of the limb, muscles and joints, and they are carried uh, from the spinal cord to the cerebellum and to the tectum or collicular area. And they are central in the midbrain, the red nucleus. I have made the red nucleus here. And uh, the, the efferents are through the ribrospinal, reticulospinal, and vestibulospinal tract uh, responses to change or bring them. Now here, this limb movements. Now in this limb movements, uh, if it touches the ground, suppose if it touches the ground, what happens? It starts jumping and moving. So the, the when it touches the ground, it will get the proprioceptive inputs from this uh, sole, sole of this foot. Uh, and then that would produce impulses arising from the limb muscles leads to the attainment and appropriate posture of the limb. Then it will stand up and make this thing. Now, if you are if you are looking at that uh, neck on body writing reflexes, so that means here in this in this particular situation, this boy the neck is turned this side. The body is still in this position. Then what happens? Slowly, body is turning to the 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 twisting of the muscles. So here it is twisted. Now the finally it is twisted here. The body also turned. The limbs also turned. You can just see that uh, uh, tilting of the baby. So this is a neck on body writing. This is the neck movement made the body writing reflex. The reverse is here. The body on body writing reflex. The body and right, body writing reflex, or even I can say the limb writing reflex. Here, he, the examiner is holding the limbs. He he moves the limbs. Limbs in the sense uh, he moves the trunk. So when he moves the trunk, you see this is the direction of the movement of the trunk. When he moves the trunk, but this head and the neck remains. Uh, slowly, the neck moves and the head moves, and this uh, becomes uh, the at the end. You see that. Uh, the whole thing become oriented. The head is in this side, neck is in in a in alignment with the head and the body. So this is the body on body writing reflex. Now optic writing reflexes, or um, these are the only exceptions of the writing reflexes where the centers of the optic writing reflexes have two places. One. They have the optic, the, the, it has to go to the, the visual cortex. From the visual cortex, it will come to the midbrain area to coordinate or synchronize. So now, so that means uh, the, it will utilize the midbrain centers. The primary center is the primary visual area. The stimulus is visual cues. The receptors are rods and cones. The nerve is optic nerve. And uh, via this, uh, Lateral geniculate body and the visual cortex, it will reach to the colliculus. So this is the lateral geniculate body and it will reach to the colliculus. And then uh, the visual cortex integrated at midbrain at a collicular and tegmental level. So that means center is at the visual cortex and the midbrain. So here, this is an exception. And E fronts are again, because the, the whole thing, whatever is happening in the red nucleus and the reticular system, they are descending down to the alpha motor neuron or the motor neurons in the spinal cord. Rubrospinal tract or reticulospinal tract and vestibulospinal tract. Now, optic writing reflexes here, if you can just see that, uh, this, boy, uh, this boy is uh, tilted. Because of the visual axis, he is able to use that. And he is writing the body. Similarly, here also, because of the visual inputs, it, the visual inputs is tilting, tilting. Same thing with the visual inputs, it is landing in. So these are optic writing reflexes. So now I just uh, come back here with this picture. You can just see that uh, whatever I have expressed, one, he has a visual writing reflex intact. He has the, um, the vestibular or a labyrinthine writing reflexes because of the tilt you can just see 
the neck muscles are stretched the neck writing reflexes are operated the body writing reflexes uh, they try to maintain the uh, body and as well as the neck and head and then the limb writing reflexes uh, try to move this thing and overall he sees he keeps this axis same thing happen with these guys also you can just see them how they are uh, orienting or writing their body in space here is uh, some uh, wonderful experiments the the animal is blindfolded this monkey is blindfolded so that means this uh, then it is dropped so what happens it it comes down and now in this situation it is because of the labyrinthine writing reflex labyrinthine means vestibular writing this animal b Uh, the labyrinthectomized animal that means uh, the vestibular system has been damaged or uh, destroyed so we can destroy the vestibular system in animals of doing the cutting the vestibular nerve or uh, uh, centrifuging uh, putting it in a centrifuge machine and then you centrifuge it and then uh, all those crystals will be lost and uh, the entire membrane will be lost so whatever the situation so this uh, the vestibulectomy or the labyrinthectomy was performed and the animal was allowed to drop but the eyes the visual signals are intact so visually intact so that means still it is able to write so now neither here in in this animal what is happening neither the the uh, labyrinth it's labyrinthectomized as well as blindfolded still then it is able to write because it is able to write it will fall down and then after falling down the proprioceptors here they try to give the input so that it writes up the head and the neck so this is how the uh, even in the absence of these the body writing reflexes operate so this is a, a classic example of the one of the experiments now we have uh, looked into this uh, the writing reflexes and i briefly again uh, go through the placing reactions and hopping reactions these placing reactions you can just see that uh, the placement this is a paratrooper paratrooper getting down to the ground or landing on to the ground so slowly he is placing himself similarly we we place ourselves whenever we try to do some actions or even a small action so so this the stimulation is the acceleration or uh, any other displacement and the receptors are the uh, utricle and saccule because this placing reaction is the resultant of the vestibular uh, placing reaction the center the center for this placement is in the in the cerebrum or in the cortex response as soon as the foot comes in contact here in on contacts to the ground so that means the proprioceptive inputs from here reach and the utricle or the the vestibular inputs are also going all of them put together they will make a, a, a smooth landing on the surface because you uh, do not want to hurt so it is reflexly placed on the surface position to support the body okay so now this visual is also in this situation he is seeing the visual inputs are also there that is coming from the visual cues the receptors are eyes the central cerebral cortex as soon as the foot comes in contact the visual and the vestibular put together they will place the individual and this placement reactions are uh, uh, centered in the cerebral cortex they are higher order long loop uh, reflexes then hopping reactions when particular person is uh, suddenly pushed aside so then uh, our lateral displacement uh, that would produce the hopping and this hopping reactions are, are generated from the muscle spindle again they have a, a cerebral cortex so this is to support the body and the limb position when standing and uh, when he is uh, dislocated or disturbed this is hopping reaction uh, the summary of the writing reflexes not present at birth develop in first year and uh, other writing the optic writing reflexes is present immediately after birth because the 
child sees the objects, starts seeing the objects. Then other writing reactions develop within time. Labyrinthine orient the head through the vestibular component. The body on body, body on head orient the head based on the uh, inputs coming from the body and the surface. So I mentioned about the only one uh, inputs that makes the body on head movement. Because if you are getting even uh, inputs, uh, so then it will not bring about. The neck on body, if you rotate the head, the body will follow and maintain the alignment. So that means this is the neck. The body on body, if you rotate a part of the body, uh, the lower body will then rotate to maintain the alignment. So if you are making the upper trunk, then the, the hip region will move. Or there are, if you move the hip, the trunk will move. The goal is to orient the head body in alignment and uh, especially with the visual axis. Now, these are some of the uh, monkeys. You can just see that this is a labyrinthine writing reflex where he's blindfolded and he's thrown. He's just able to orient. This is because of the autolith organs. Animal upside down, uh, head rights. Head is writing, you can just see that. The neck writing reflex, head passively uh, righted here, both the visual and uh, the, uh, uh, the vestibular inputs are uh, blocked. Uh, head passively uh, righted, body follows. So head writes and the body comes along. The body writing reflex is on head. If you change the body, asymmetric contact to the body, head writes head becomes normal with this because this is this side and this will become this side. Now body on body, the body on body means uh, so this upper upper extremity is there and accordingly the lower extremity again it is because of the asymmetric uh, proprioceptive contacts from the body parts. Then optic writing reflexes even when a labyrinth atomized the animal is able to orient because of the visual cues this is the optic writing reflex. Okay, uh, the reference books, the Candles book, Gaitam, Genong, and Kiel. So you don't have much information. Most of the information is from the uh, Samson Rights and other books. Samson Rights and other books. Uh, the assignment is uh, define writing reflexes, describe the different types of writing reflexes, mentioning the receptors, afferents, and the centers, and the efferents or effectors uh, of these reflexes. These are short note questions which appear uh, optic writing reflexes, vestibular writing reflexes, body on body writing reflexes, body on neck writing reflexes, neck writing reflexes. So in the next class, I would take up with the vestibular system. Okay, uh, thank you.